friends, it's Doris with all the books and I'm here with a book haul. Yes, it is indeed September 1st and I am already hauling books. These books I've been hiding under the table from you and me both. The entire month of August, um, yeah. Playing a little Calvin ball with myself. So if you're not familiar with Calvin ball, I suggest you Google it or you can just wait and watch my TBR talk tomorrow um, in which I share Calvin ball with you. Anyway, let's just, let's just haul these books, shall we? Shall we? Let's, let's do and see the damage. I, w I was hiding these because um, I already made a book outlet haul of like, what was it, 17 books in August? And then immediately thereafter, like within days, ordered some more. They're here. There's a box here. <laughs> Let's just get on with it. Um, Franklin and Luna and the Book of Fairy Tales. This was sent to me by the lovely combo of Jen Campbell and Katie Harnett. And it is so, so delightful. I think this one would be perfect to share with your children and classes in the month of October. It just feels very fallish to me. And yes, highly recommend this one. I've already read it. I couldn't, I couldn't wait. Um, and also let's just see, I have a few more that I've already read here that I could share with you. Um, well, just one act, two, here we go. So I ordered How Not to Die Alone by Richard Roper after reading it. I really enjoyed this. This is kind of a romance, kind of a refinding yourself in life story. And it's from um, the male perspective, which is rather unique. So yes, I really enjoyed this one. And also, uh, They Called Us Enemy by George Taki. This is a graphic nom novel memoir of George Taki's early years, uh, interspersed with uh, one of his TED Talks and a little glimpses of his Star Trek days. Very much reminiscent of March, highly recommend. Uh, it's focused on the Japanese internment camps during World War II. So really enjoyed that one as well. Then I have a couple books that I had on pre-order because, you know, I love these authors. So uh, Colton Whitehead's The Nickel Boys. Uh, this one is getting high praise. High praise on BookTube. Recently, currently, I just saw a couple more um, today, people talking about it. So this one is uh, a boy's kind of a prison youth, youth um, institution installment. This one is set in Tallahassee, Florida, which is where I went to college. So I know this is gonna be a tough read, but I'm also very much interested in being in my college town again. And then also, if you want to make God laugh by Bianca Marai. Marais, I think is how she pronounces it. Uh, I loved this author. I read Hum If You Know the Words last year and just really got on fabulously with it. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this one soon. I can't believe I haven't read it already. Um, but I think this one is in three different perspectives and during the AIDS crisis in South Africa. And then what else? I went ahead and ordered the last two Mary Stewart's that I hadn't read in this series. You can find these on Book Outlet. The covers are 50s housewives, but when you get them, they are in these vintage graphics looking covers. And so yes, I have Rose Cottage, and The Ivy Tree. I think Angie and I are going to read this um, this month. But yeah, these are just cozy mysteries and I like them because they have a nice travel flair and um, nature writing flair. She's very good at 
um, settings. I know I enjoy that a great deal. And then I think this was also a new release, possibly. Um, Patrice showed it to me. She always clues me in when there's a new bee book coming out. And this is The Enlightenment of Bees by Rachel Linden. And I think this is also kind of finding yourself again. Romantic adventure across the globe. Yeah, her first love kind of left her. So yeah, uh, I think this one has an environmental edge to it as well. So I will get to that one hopefully soon. And then Dear Sean sent me some books all the way from Japan and it's always so exciting to get happy mail. So I got Cat Poems by the world's greatest poets. So obviously I will love this. Yeah, oh, the galloping cat, honest stray cat. Oh, looking forward to it. And Crudo by Olivia Lang. I don't exactly remember what this is about, but I think it's got a little bit of a political spin to it. So yes, that was kind of busy on booktube last year. And then The Good Women of China, Hidden Voices by Jin Ren. And yeah, I don't know. I love Asian literature and this looks very intriguing. So there's that. And then we have the book outlet box. Let's see, there's the logo. And, uh, you know, this has been sitting around for a couple weeks under my table, so I don't remember what's in here, but hopefully um, I will recognize why I ordered another order immediately after the first. Oh, oh yeah, now I know, yeah. It makes sense, guys. So remember when I read When I Was Puerto Rican and loved it. It was so good. These are memoirs by a Puerto Rican girl who moved up and moved up, moved to New York and talks about um, the adjustment. So she moved when she was in her, her early teen, maybe her tween years, and then grew up there. And so I believe these are when she's um, becoming a woman and a woman, if you will. So yeah, oh, almost a woman, makes sense. And then um, the Turkish lover, so yeah. Very much enjoying, looking forward to this. Enjoyed the first, and yeah. So I realized I should check for these and found them both on Book Outlet right after finishing, so that's why I made that other order. It makes sense. So what else did I get? These are, Oh, oh, oh. This one I already read, Lucky Boy by Shanti Sekaran. This was really good. This is such a good perspective on the immigrant story. We have um, a young couple that are of Indian descent. They're Indian, but um, both born in the States of Indian immigrants. And then they have trouble um, having a baby, so decide to adopt, which is very expensive. So they decide to go the foster route and end up um, foster in foster care giving of a young baby boy whose mother was an immigrant. She is immigrated illegally from Central America forget which country is Mexico, but Mexico. Um, but yeah, it's just heart wrenching, really well written, but very intriguing perspective with those dual looks at the immigrant storyline. Such a good read. And then I got, well, this one I have heard Robert from Barter Hordes mention a couple times recently. Um, the Evolution of Beauty, How Darwin's Forgotten Theory of Mate Choice Shapes the Animal World and Us by Richard O. Prum. So, yes, another hefty nonfiction read for nonfiction November. Oh, this one has pictures. I like it. 
there's that. And then these were total impulse buys because, you know, look out what had them. So I found on Cats by Charles Bukowski, um, just some of his little excerpts about cats, I suppose. Oh, pictures, that's always a win. And then this one I had never even heard of, but you know, I'm a child of the 70s, so I snagged it. Stingray Afternoons by Steve Russian. Memoir of a child growing up in the 70s. So I'm here for that. Anyway, that's what I got in this haul. And now I'm going to film my TBR talk and then plan my reading life for September. Because September is going to be a great reading month. You heard it here first. Thanks so much for watching and I will be back soon. Bye.